Hey guys, this is Taylor Dugan from Taylor Dugan Photography. Um, <clears throat> a few days ago I learned a lot of questions on the Pretty Presets Facebook group about how I remove matte from some of the presets. Um, and it's super simple, super easy. Um, all we're going to be doing and looking at right now is the tone curve and the develop module. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about why this works or why the tone curve does what it does, but I would highly recommend looking up some more in-depth videos about how the tone curve works, um, because then you can do really cool stuff with it, um, and really tweak presets to your exact liking, um, because the tone curve dominates a lot of how the photo turns out. Um, so definitely go look up some, uh, videos more in depth about the tone curve. I think Flurn on YouTube has a really good one. Um, so I'm just gonna get off my little soapbox and let's get started. <laughs> uh, sorry, I get random emails. Um, all right, so let's say I use the preset Milk and Honey, and I really like the way this preset looks with the uh, colors. It has that nice, you know, bluish tint to the background, and everything's really soft and nice, but I want to bring back some of that detail in the background. All we have to do is um, make sure this leftmost point in the tone curve is dragged all the way down, and this rightmost point is dragged all the way up. It's very touchy sometimes. You have to make sure that it stays okay. <laughs> um, and that's literally it. Um, you remove all the mat. Um, if you want to add more mat or add the mat back in, you just drag this leftmost point back up and you can make it very, very, very matte. Or you could just, you know, have a little bit matte. Like I said, it's very touchy. Maybe it's just me. But um, <laughs> I like to have it all the way down at the bottom because I like very clean edits. Um, another way you can easily do this, if your tone curve, let's say a preset gives you a tone curve that's looking pretty funky like this. Obviously it's never going to do that because you can see how it makes the photo. But let's just say you want to wipe it to a clean slate and, you know, you have some really funky stuff going on. I'm telling you, the tone curve stuff does crazy things to your photo you can easily just hit um, where it says custom and click linear and it resets everything um, leaves no mat on your photo I'm kind of wary about doing that because sometimes it can um, it can also change these individual color channel tone curves um, which you don't want to do um, so I, I like to individually go in and move the points myself um, but there you go, that's how you remove the mat. Um, I'm going to do it one more time on this photo, which is the one I posted in the group. Um, let's try a different preset, actually. Let's go with like a uh, this one, which I love this preset, but look, you can't see any details. Um, it's You lose a lot of things up here in the tree and there on the background because everything is so one tone. Um, so we're just going to take this leftmost point and drag it down, 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 down. I'm actually not going to drag it all the way down. Um, and I'm going to just go in and tweak some of these points. And I'm going to drag this one up, drag this one up. And I'm just trying to make it look more of a cohesive line down instead of like a eh, 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 eh. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so let's say uh, that's the one click preset and that is after we moved the tone curve. Um, like I said, it really affects a lot of the image. Um, but I like milk and honey. You just drag it down and you drag this one up. And I hope that helps you guys. I know this is kind of a long rambly video. I've been talking for almost five minutes. Um, but I hope that gives you at least some idea of how the tone curve works and how I remove Matt from photographs. Um, thank y'all, and I'll see y'all over in the Facebook group.